Next up, I guess what you've all been waiting for. Shall we do the aura? So uh, the Pied Pisser is in trouble once again Mm -hmm. because BuzzFeed wrote an article the length of each Harry Potter book combined about R. Kelly um, holding very young women against their will in what is being referred to as a cult. Um, (laughs) Every good cult has a name. We'll figure one out later. Yeah. uh, Just to be shady. But this was so hard to read. Past the fact that it's really, really long, it's so gross and cringeworthy that I had to take breaks. Like, I had to, like, all right, I'm going to just leave this tab open and I'll come back to that when I can breathe yeah, again. Yeah, I had it's to read it in, like, chunks. It's so like that. sick because it's clear that he knows exactly what he's doing, why he's doing it, you know, and he makes necessary uh steps to make sure that it can be like as under wraps as possible. Yeah. It's really sick that things would even like we said before, nigga, if you got multiple girls mm-hmm. in your rented homes who have parents back wherever they from talking about I want my kid, send my kid home, I'm calling the FBI and whatever local feds and stuff, the the cops and shit. I would just to like to see my child. Why wouldn't you, a fifty year old man, say, Hey, Maddie, whatever, uh take your little twenty year old ass mm-hmm. back home. This ain't worth it. I'm Robert Kelly. I'll just go get me a new bitch. Even if you'd continue to creep. And go get you some little young girls. Right. These kids' parents are good for them. You can't find a little 20-year-old girl whose parents don't give a fuck that she with you. Like, what? Lord, it's and such a mess. It's so disgusting, the mind of someone who you specifically prey on young girls yeah. because of Picking them. them out in the concerts. Get Which is so that, that, that was one. another Get part that, that was hard for me because if any if you've ever been to a concert, it's nothing for someone to say, Hey, come on up on the stage. Oh hey, I and love people my be fans. so hyped. And you get so hyped to get up on stage. Now just thinking R. Kelly probably has niggas who look out in the crowd for mm-hmm. these little girls mm-hmm. and tell them to come up on stage and that's the last time they made me and daddy see them. What? Yeah. It was really it's really disturbing. The reporter who wrote it has been I've recognized his name from other pieces about R. Kelly, but he's based in Chicago and he's been doing this since 2000, I think was the first time he wrote an expo- expose on R. Kelly. So it took him like nine months to do all the reporting on this, which is pros- probably another reason why yeah, the article it is starts, so long. This it, article starts um, uh, backstage at the Fantasy Springs Resort Casino in California on May 23rd, 2015. Yeah. So where this girl when I read that jumped I was on like, stage. Oh girl, we're gonna be here a while. <sighs> the thing about R. Kelly is like how much more do you niggas need before we can get him the fuck out of here? Thank you. I know y'all don't give a shit about black women. I, can't I know that believe. y'all show it every day. People are still making excuses for this thing. But like even when I tweeted about this story, like maybe now we can finally be done with R. Kelly because it's been going on. All of our lives, I remember being a teenager, hearing about him marrying Aaliyah and AJ, nothing but a number, just blatantly being there and him calling himself the Pied Piper, a nigga who lures children away from their families <laughs> and keeps them <laughs> like and not, and then the whole sex tape, the the tape with the girl. And I cannot believe this nigga <sighs> has been calling himself the Pied Piper for this long. All those court documents talking about how he would be up at the at the high schools in Chicago talking about, you know, I'll take you to McDonald's. I'll do this and this like this has been going on for decades. Probably One of these things said that he was uh, doing a lecture at a school, too, which I was like, oh, God, why would you hire R. Kelly to come? Talk I think to this kids? was when he was this was in the 90s. Though that um, it may have been mm. when he was like younger, he was like 24, but then he was sleeping with one of the students who was 15. See, I just want to know when the rest of the world is going to decide that saving black girls is a priority or like the 
the wellness and safety of black women should be something that is given a fuck about. Because while we all know that part of the reason why R. Kelly keep, continues to do this is because he's preying on the the girls, not just black girls, but specifically black girls of like a certain socioeconomic status, maybe mm-hmm. not necessarily of a certain family background, but of people who are enamored by the R. Kelly star. It's the same shit that like most of these rappers and singers do. He just chooses to do it to babies. All of these, right. And all of these parents are like, well, you know, at first I thought it was going to be okay because it's R. Kelly and he's really famous and a lyrical genius. So what could go wrong? And then other parents are like, well, I just, you know, I heard about all the stories, but I figured, you know, she would be fine as long as he was always, you know, one of us, the parents was always with her whenever R. Kelly was around. And I'm like, Sis, do you understand that it's not just R. Kelly sleeping with these girls? It's a manipu, which is bad enough. Yeah, that would be bad enough. Fine. But you are, first of all, using your star power in a situation where you are creating dominance over someone and using that influence, that recognition, that fame, to to make them want to do things they probably would not ordinarily do if you was just regular old R. Kelly who busts his tables down at Applebee's. Yes. But you are R. Kelly, the star. So that's one thing. But then it's a series of manipulation tactics you take away their phones they're not allowed to call or text their families they get some burner phone i guess that's laying around the compound that they get to keep in touch with people every now and then (sighs) this girl i think she's texted her parents twice in the past seven or eight months once on christmas and once on mother's day Mm -hmm. talking about happy mother's day from me and rob bitch i will come there and split his whole fucking head open what you mean happy mother's day from rob from R. Kelly, the Rob who took you from us and has you living in his house being his fucking sex servant. The Rob that's older than me. The Rob that's older than me. He got you in this house wearing baggy ass goop clothes, turning around facing the wall when other men are in the room because he don't want nobody else to look at y'all. He got y'all in here doing sex sex on each other, sex sex on him. It's other women in here training y'all on how to please him the way he likes it. Like there's so much going on in this story that for people to just be like, oh, well, they're the age of consent. I mean, they're 17, 18 years old. They could do whatever they want to. You're missing the whole fucking point. He is targeting and preying on these girls for who they are. And it is not okay. And at some point, you niggas have got to let go of step in the name of love or whatever the fuck else and say black girls matter more than this. I just really so hard about that. One day, just please one day say, (laughs) you know what? I loved trapped in the closet when it came out. I know you you didn't. I know you didn't. I know you did not. Another one. Trapped in the closet is trash. (sighs) Trapped in the closet has always been awful. Okay, I loved twelve play when it came out. Better fine i feel like niggas are unanimous on that niggas love 12 play we all have probably great memories of hunching or whatever in high school and college and being nasty at parties with r kelly playing i get it we've all been there but those memories are not worth supporting someone who is doing these kinds of things with his money and fame it's not even just like you you streaming r kelly's music you buying r kelly's music that's money going to r kelly you go on his shows that's money he's using to do this thing to girls so at what point are we as a society gonna say that's so deep no more for r kelly like it really like all of (laughs) all of these girls that he's taking up and really you it's not hard to think about that you're taking a uh a 17 year old at best. So gross. You know what I'm saying? A 17 They probably check IDs, like, make sure she's age of consent. Probably. Age now. of consent. Not even 18. Just now. whatever the age of consent is, exactly. right? Exactly. Now. So, you're, t- like, you're targeting these girls who probably don't have much of anything. And then on top of that, it's not even like, it's not like even like one of these other rap niggas or something who just go get a stripper that just simply wants to be taken care of. He's targeting girls that yeah. want to sing and telling them, I can do this for you and I can do that you for you. You want somebody you can manipulate. Exactly. Yeah. So I really can fuck your mind up. Not to mention, I'm going to take you out after this fucking, you know what I'm like, not even gonna, not even going to pick you up. A car is coming to get you. It's going to take you to the fucking jet. Get on the shit. You eating fresh strawberries over the fucking ocean. You land in You Spain. ain't never had no nice shit like that before. Right. right. You get to the yacht. It's uh, five designer bikinis laid out for you. You pick which one. We're going sailing. We're doing whatever. You've never experienced any of these things and uh, how you see it, you may never have. Mm-hmm. On top, all you gotta do is just take a little piss. <laughs> like, grown women would do that. Kids? Mm-hmm. It's like, it's not surprising to me at all that so many children or so many young girls would be enamored by him. falling for this, yeah. Or, or, you know, not only 
to the point where I'm ready and willing to do this, but also I'm going to get on TMZ and tell my daddy to back the fuck off and leave me the fuck alone. That's how I know he got mind control over these girls. Y'all releasing videos talking about, I am not in the cult. I'm happy. This is this. this. Nothing's so- wrong. Everything's good. Okay, girl. Okay, so are you in Atlanta? You're in Georgia now? Or, or where are you? I don't want to talk about that. Oh, okay. So are there there are other girls or, you know, has this? Oh, I don't want to discuss that either. So mm-hmm. everything's hunky-dory. Nothing weird is going on. Everything's fine. But you pleading the fifth. He's calling y'all baby. And y'all are calling him daddy. And y'all have to ask for food and ask to go to the bathroom and basically just have to serve you ever asked your mom or daddy to go piss no that was the one thing i did not have to ask (laughs) for (laughs) my mama was like you don't ever have to ask for water fruit or to go to the bathroom (laughs) everything else you better run that shit by me first (laughs) don't eat none of my chicken don't eat none of my cheese what the fuck did you see the part where the, the girl who used to work with him said that he left one of the girls on a bus uh, oh God! He left one of the girls on a tour bus for three days uh, as a punishment. Oh wow! And said that she didn't do her homework. And the girl said Ugh. she found that strange because the girl had graduated high school that past summer. Homework must have been some nasty sex something, act. right? Yeah, something disgusting. That nigga is fucked up. He is like fucked up and the fact that you're really still here after all of these years of you getting pass after pass after pass and Lord knows. Niggas, you know, to our fault, honestly, will be loyal to many of our legends, knowing full well that you're guilty. And a lot of times it's because we don't want to see you into the clutches of the white men because they have fucked up so many innocent lives. Right. So we've given niggas like this bitch chance after I haven't because I've always been I've always loved the Yeah, no, after the after the tape came out and I was like, wait a minute. What? What? The whole tape thing, the behavior during the tape made me kind of uncomfortable with R. Kelly and his like I feel like his prime is older than me or like beginning of me yeah so the the my experience with R. Kelly was much more of like super popping in the 90s but I had very limited access to him because my mama didn't play that right I couldn't listen to 12 yeah I couldn't right no I I listened to 12 playing college right because my mama was not I'm not no there's no CD players in this house and you're not listening to it. I've that. recognized him as a great R&B song writer and singer and stuff lots like that lots of hits but never looked at I've never been so attached to R. Kelly that even recognizing him being an icon in the music industry I couldn't be like oh girl gross like let's all think about this let's let's be fair <laughs> like no mm-hmm. I saw the whole thing everybody knew he did it he got away with it cool what's for breakfast so you still trying to sit up here and act like we don't know that right. your ass is disgusting bitch and you got a right. chance you still get to go perform at the motherfucking BT Awards wearing spicy spiky jackets that would kill Sonic the Hedgehog and the whole crowd going crazy Because you've got a catalog and everybody loves these records, but that doesn't give you the right to go around here with this, ugh, ugh, ugh. Even with the girls being uh, age of consent, like I said, you're talking about people's kids that desperately want them to come home. Why would you want to cut off? You know, communication. That's going to cause a new story. These people aren't going to just forget they gave birth to somebody who isn't there anymore. Right. I mean, pa- I was really just talking about like like a moral compass, like being a person. No, I mean, that's absolutely but then you real. You have to assume that he has one. But it just but you're also correct. Like you didn't think that basically keeping these kids away from their families when they're babies mm-hmm. <laughs> was going to cause attention. Yes, you did, because you've had run ins with people. One of these girls sisters came mm-hmm. to the studio looking for her. That ended in a police report right. after one year our niggas apparently smacked her, her in the face. What well, you've been sued over this multiple times. Your fucking lawyer was trying to talk about or somebody was saying Maybe not his lawyer. I think the publicist was talking about like the number of of incidents that they've had to kind of deal with similar to the this. civil suits or just the stuff that didn't even make it there. Something like that. They said numerous. I don't think it was a lawyer though, because his current lawyer was the one at the end talking about respect his life. He's not doing anything and uh, no, blah, I will blah, not blah, respect all this. Other this. Shit. But I will not respect this. It just don't make no sense. Like at the end of the day, even you, you know, starting to look like the top of old oatmeal in the face. <laughs> You're still R. Kelly and you're still rich Mm -hmm. and you are, you know, you have that. There's no reason why you couldn't just go and get another girl. And 
if it's gonna cause trouble for you, I don't know why you'd be like, you know what, just go on. This is crazy. I'm gonna go find somebody else. But I know now that that type of behavior for these, even the people like, I won't say any other names because I like, don't want to compare anybody to a child molester that's not molesting kids. But for many of these niggas who we say the same thing all of the time, you could just go and get any other girl. It's not about that. It's about the control. It's mm-hmm. about yes. the mind control. It's about being a failure if these bitches don't stay in and you mm-hmm. know get in line and do what you want. It's about that's what you want. Them. Yeah, right. you want that control over them. Exactly, because having any or being able to have any girl you want is boring to these niggas. They want to mm-hmm. be able to get a specific girl and make that girl do whatever the fuck they want you know them yeah. to do or whatever it's just it if, it if it wasn't about manipulation and control r kelly would have said girl call your mama go right. home and see your mama exactly if it was some big happy polyamorous family where they all just live and fuck merrily then those girls would have full freedom to take pictures keep their phones keep in touch with their families the the fact that they are being distanced and cut off from the people who love them and would look out for them is a massive red flag that something is fucking wrong. But niggas don't care because they still want to play I Believe I Can Fly and World's Greatest at these kindergarten graduations and niggas still want to two-step at, at weddings and shit. And you can do all that without without supporting R. Kelly. You could. You can find something else. Them kids could sing, I don't know, Whitney Houston, Michael Bolton. I don't know. who Who's making inspirational songs for the youth these days? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I feel like Chloe we sing some <laughs> I'm saying there's millions of other artists out there. We don't have Tank to the throw. Bangers. Nick, oh, Tank and the Bangers is not a bad suggestion. But niggas don't have, we don't have to throw this undying, blind love and loyalty and support behind somebody who has shown us time and time again that he don't give a fuck about our girls. We don't have to do that. Like, my God, if you have a, a young how many, daughter, granddaughter, how many niece, nephew, cousin, that could be her. <sighs> like, what? you, you R. Kelly himself has a 19-year-old daughter. Which is so gross. Like, what is... What, that is disgusting. What do I do with that? Oh, my God, that is so nasty. So you're fucking girls your daughter's age? I'm sorry, every time you look at these girls, you don't think about the fact that they're the same age as your kid? You don't, that just don't occur to you at all. Some of them younger, you just like, oh, okay, well, whatever. Just nasty and preferred. I just hope y'all are done with R. Kelly for good. I hope I don't ever have to hear about this again because the next story is nobody will fuck with R. Kelly and he's sitting at home somewhere by himself to live out the rest of his days alone. Like, but I know that won't be it because the nigga, <laughs> the nigga was caught on tape with a 14, 15 year old girl and still came back and was like, all I have to do is refine the technique. And just technically not break the law. Just do some really terrible things, but not break the law. So can't nobody come after me because these girls want to be here. This is this. Nothing about the mind control, the Debo shit you did to make them want to be there. Nothing about that. Nothing about the fact that they're just not allowed to go home. Why can't they go home? Why can't they go go home at this point? Right. Well, first of all, they probably don't want to. But had they been allowed to go home back when he was still molding them and making them think, oh, well, you just got to stay with Daddy Kelly and and I'll get your career popping and this, this, this. He's been lying to. They don't want to risk that. He's been lying to people for 50 years. You know what I'm saying? At least since the early 90s. (laughs) Really good at it now. Plus the money. And Mm -hmm. again, you're targeting girls, I think, because of. You're targeting these girls because of them being naive Mm -hmm. and you're introducing them to a life. You're making sure that you keep it from their parents because you know you're doing some shit that's wrong or you haven't done it yet. You're getting there. And so you make sure it's all under wrap. By the time, you know, things get to a place where the parents are calling the feds and shit like that, you've been having the time of your motherfucking life. Getting fucked, you know, eating crab, doing whatever. And besides whatever these little weird, creepy punishments are, a lot of these girls probably genuinely don't feel like there's anything wrong with what's going on because they don't know shit Mm -hmm. they never they never they never got the chance to really know shit and that's why you would never do no type of shit to a grown ass woman you could not even know 26 27 year old girl they'd be like am I really gonna sit in this bus (laughs) for three this nigga must think he's crazy yeah no you you can't manipulate grown women who have life experiences and jobs not all of them not all of them it's not gonna be as easy it's not as easy right you can get a young girl teenage girl to do pretty much anything especially when you're rich and famous and they've been listening to you all their lives and then on top of that they want to sing 
and they have a dream and R. Kelly says he'll help. You just come here and I'll take care of everything. You ain't got to work. You can come stay in the house. Just follow my rules and I'll help you with your career. You creepy old It is bitch. fucking nasty. I don't want to know what goes on behind those doors, but I'm sure it's some sadistic, disgusting shit. And I just... Can we be done with R. Kelly as a culture, as a group? Can we just be... Can we just say no more? No more money, no more support at BET. Don't call that nigga for Nan of the awards show. Lady Gaga, I don't know what the fuck you was thinking, <laughs> but no more collabs with the Pied Pisser. And the song was called Do What You Want With, with My, my body. body. Do what you want, what you want with my body. Just... And at first I was like, is R. Kelly singing this to a grown woman? But, you know, anything for that white dollar. I don't know. No wonder he's It's just... Yes. It's disgusting and terrible and I just hope that finally we can be done with this whole situation because honestly, I'm tired of, of R. Kelly's name still coming up in this context. I'm tired of this whole conversation. It's been going on literally for as long as I can remember this whole conversation about him. So I'm just over it. 